G'day. This is a quick video to show you how to convert one of these uh, typical computer power supplies into a power supply for your rep rack machine. So when they first arrive, um, they come with uh, all the connectors that you'd uh, normally have for a computer and we want to get rid of some of these. Uh, now some of these are actually quite useful. Um, if you're using a, uh, a printer board um, as your electronic controller, then um, this connector here, for example, will plug straight into your printer board and give it all the power it needs. So um, here's a printer board here, and you can see they've got uh, a nice uh, square connector here on the end, and this plugs right in, and the polarity is right, and everything. So one of the advantages of using a printer board, I guess, if you're using uh, something else like um, this is the uh, Azteg X3, which I just bought. Um, this has got screw terminals, so if, uh, for the printer that I'm using this on, I'll have to put uh, some sort of terminal on instead of that connector. So, so what we're aiming to do here is to get rid of um, all of these cables that you don't need and uh, basically clean it up. So this large connector has got the um, on-off switch for the controller and that's the green wire you can see in here. So we need to save the green wire and uh, the way you turn these power supplies on is you connect the green wire to any black wire. So this one's got some connectors here, which are screws here, which I'll take out. So then the lid will just pop off. Once I cut that seal. Looking, in, looking inside of here, we can see there's the green wire that I want to save. Uh, we've got a big massive cables coming in here. Um, now the only one I'm interested in uh, are the yellow ones which are 12 volt and the black ones which are the negative. Um, the other cables here are, um, there's an orange one which I think is um, 3 volts or something, red ones which are 5 volts, uh, none of them I'm interested in. So they're all going to go. So get rid of all the rubbish basically. So I'm going to cut through all the orange ones and remove them. So each time I cut one I'm pulling it out through the front. Right, so that's the first bunch of cables I've cut off, which was that large conductor um, connector. Now, out of that, I've saved one black wire because I need one black wire to switch the thing on. So I strip that back and then twist them together. Now, you could solder these or um, crimp them together or whatever you like, but I'm just going to use one of these little um, connector strips. Okay, so they're connected together and then I'm going to tuck them just out of the way, somewhere down into the power supply, somewhere where they're not going to get into trouble. So. Right, so what I've ended up with is I've got my 4 pin conductor, which is the one I want for um, the printer board. And I've got two other connectors. Uh, in fact, I'll even get rid of that one. So, so this gives me a good 12 volt supply for the board and an auxiliary supply of this one here. So then we plug the fan back in and put the cap back on and put it back together. So to test it, I'm just going to plug the power back in again and then turn it on and if I've wired it up correctly, the fan will start, as it has, and uh, we're chucking out 12 volts on the end of them, so that's it, good to go.